It's me, Oxygen Axel, and today I want to tell you how to fix most of the Phoenix Boot problems, such as how to put more than two or three games, how to like uh, fix the errors, like errors game completed but with errors, and the bad state of a game and the compatibility of the game. So before we get into it, you are asking yourself, what's Phoenix Boot? Essentially, it is like Booting your PS2 so you can download games on the memory card on a on a hard drive, not the memory card, to install the games on a hard drive and then you can play them off the disc without a disc. It's essentially like upgrading your PS2. So I'm gonna tell you and and you can look it up on in the YouTube. There's tons of videos of how to do it on a slim or a fat. I don't know how to do it because my brother did the thing for me because I couldn't do it myself because I asked for a gift and then all that stuff because I passed the, my grade so anyway let's get into the thing so if a game tells you that there's errors and the game cannot like be played because it's in a bad state well let me show you first you go here you go to that you choose your game if it is like doesn't I'm gonna choose Sly Cooper see here the game the name of the game is too long and this is an, an, an issue here let me zoom in more the, the name of the game is too big so we gonna backspace 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 until we make the name smaller such as i'm gonna instead of sly cooper the king of the the thieves raccoon usa because this is a home actually you can make it just sly cooper but I'm here to show you what happens if you didn't name it like that. If you go like that, like, yeah, yeah, let's extract the game. Sly Cooper, I don't care about the name, create. You're gonna get an error. So, in the meantime, I'm gonna try to focus my phone camera on it. Uh, I'm gonna try to lower the 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 video quality a little so you can so can so that it can focus yes you can read some of the words now it's better right yes it's better so when the game completes it's gonna be in a bad state so just let me show you. Yes, so it should be completing, completed right here, the game. So, every time you convert a game from the ASO format to a game you can put it on a hard drive, you must check the game list. Go to the ULCFG file. See, notice, game with errors, you can try to recover with space. We are not gonna try to recover, instead, get all that stuff from here and put it in the recycle bin and do that again but this time we're gonna do it different differently open the ass of all the sly cooper this time this time see the name right here we're gonna make it smaller smaller do you understand guys we're gonna shorten the name and i'm gonna explain why after a bit so here's the name it's 
it was too long because games come with long names. We're gonna just put it like Sly Cooper. Just like that. And then convert it. This time we are not gonna get any errors. And I'm gonna show you why. Anyway, if you've been following my channel, I'm really like excited about making my videos and shit. And I really love making videos because they give me the most excitement to see people viewing them and liking them. And I got a comment last day or something about one of my videos. Uh, so one, one guy, he, I think he's a hater because he said to me, dude, uh, you are a retard. And I told him, what does a retard mean? Because I don't know actually what a retard is because I'm not like, does, I don't have that much knowledge into these kind of stuff. Because I'm fucking like 14 years old. None of my parents told me about this stuff. Okay, so he told me I'm a retard. So I told, so he told me someone with a mental, uh, with a mental something like I don't know, who makes everything a lot harder. I think he was talking because I animate my videos in a way harder way. Well, that's well gonna make Grade A under A retarded too because he makes his video with a budget quality movie maker. Well, and what the fuck does that mean? Okay, okay. So anyway, the 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 that completed and see. An okay state, an okay state, just because I made the name smaller. And if it's in a bad state, it's not gonna show me the region code, which is not slash actually. Not all games have a slash region code. One of them has cuss or something. So the game is now playable. And I'm not gonna get my hard drive and copy it to it, because I already have. Now delete this. And now let's show you. This is the game. If you put the name Sly Cooper underscore King of Thieves and the Raccoon, it's not gonna fit. It's gonna be here, right here with this. You should keep some space between the name and the region code so that the game can be read it on your hard drive. Okay, now we put this in the recycle bin. bin. Now I'm gonna show you how that the game actually works. Let me get this and put it in my play PlayStation 2. I'm gonna hold this right here. It's hard to do this with one hand. I kinda have to get some assist. Okay, turn it on. Matrix. Yes, and now mine is when I put it. Let's get the controller. On Phoenix boot, normal shit. First time opening TV. It's OPL, I use OPL, open loader. Elf. Here it is, Sly Cooper, right here. Yes, so we're gonna choose it. Press X. Now, normally, if the game has errors, it's gonna show you a gray screen, a gray color. But if the game works, it's gonna show you that. You see that? The game gonna show you that if the game actually works. And it in a little in a bit of minutes. Voila, it works. I'm gonna make a virtual memory card after this video because I don't have enough memory on my memory card. Now for the next problem is how to put more than one game on your fucking, like, uh, on the fucking, on the freaking hard drive. A lot of people don't know how to do this, but I'm gonna show you. Get your hard drive first with you. And then, go to your computer, plug it in, and, uh, yes, that stuff, good. Yes, it's gonna show in a bit. 
go to your computer so see these ul files each one is numbered i like to number them so you see this one right here it's called ul which is sly cooper the sly cooper file you click one time on it put i'm gonna put eight because this is the eighth game i have on my hard drive and go to a game like uh, i'm gonna choose this game Castlevania, uh, no, no, not this one. I'm gonna choose a good one. Nah, not this one. Yes, Mega Man X Collection. And instead of two, I'm gonna make it one. And this time it's gonna read this game. So. This could be a pain in the ass sometimes when you want to play a different game. You have to go to your computer, plug your hard drive in, change the name of the game you want. It's not that much of a deal because I did it all the time. It's not a pain in the ass actually. It's pretty fun. It teaches you a lot, I think. Let's wait a minute, guys. Let me plug my hard USB hard drive in. Yes, it's reading it. Now, as you see, it's gonna read Mega Man X Collection this time. Mm. Yes. Me you see right here, Mega Man X Collection. And to prove that it's actually worked, this is a way you can have more than one game. 12, put 20 games. And you can play them as many as you can. Like, but you have to actually switch between games sometimes on your PC. Because I put my PC on sleep mode. And it works. So... This solves most of the problems, I think, for the community of PC Free McBooting and shit. And I think we really talked about every problem that it needs to be talked about. I think, let's see. We talked about how to actually put, like, a, a game from the bad state to a good state, which is by lowering the ga the name of the game. Guys, don't use long names. Long names make the game in a bad state. Like, because we don't need the region code to be stuck with the original name of the game. We need to make pretty space that both of them are different words. And we discussed it how we can change games and put more than one game on the hard drive without the need to actually find a way of how to which is I think a great way uh, I found out how so this will show you how and by the way uh, I, I'm, I get my ROMs from I, I think from MU Paradise it's a good ROM website you can download as many ROMs as you want and you don't have to pay anything I don't have to buy games, I can just download them and play them the heck on my PS2, bitch. I, I, some may call that stealing because it's illegal, but I don't care. I don't live in the United States. Nobody can catch me emulating some games. And everyone does that from time to time. Because I don't live in the United States, they can't track my ass down for legalizing games. Oh shit, I can pirate games as many times as I want, bitch. And you can't fuck with me because I'm a bastard. I'll do that as many times as I want and I don't care. I've been using this since I was like seven or nine years old because it's easy. Just download an app, a software on your PC, play some games, em emulators. It's not that hard. And uh, this really changed my life, really like. I didn't know what's a Game Boy, I didn't know what's a SNES and Genesis, uh, Super Nintendo, NES. 
It's a good way for outer world people to understand what was retro gaming in the past and shit. Because I wouldn't know that if I didn't choose emulators, they really changed my life. And I'm not like meaning any bad harm to the gaming community, but this is the only way for some people who live in some suburban areas like my country, which is, I'm not gonna say the name, because some people are gonna fuck me in the comments below. Anyway, see you next time, and I hope I fixed all the problems that may run as an issue with you and your games. See you next time, guys. Peace!